Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use the window.confirm option, which allows us to basically take user input and confirm if we want to execute an option. So the example I'm going to show is a simple one. We're just going to have a button that says print something. And essentially, when it's clicked, it's meant to print something, but this could be anything and in your project this might be something a bit more important like delete something or actually let's make this delete just to make it a bit clearer so let's find confirm here it is and yeah so here's our button to delete something so obviously i get this button and then using the on click event Let's just say our vote wave to the internet is just going to be console.login deleted item. So let's say that when this is clicked, you can see that it's deleted this item. But what if we want to sort of add some like security or add some redundancy? I don't know if that's the right word, but what if we want to prevent the user from accidentally deleting something? Well, it's pretty simple. We can just use a confirm box. So we're going to use the window.confirm and we put a message. So let's say something like, are you sure you want to delete this item? I'll just put a question mark. And what this is going to return is it's going to give us a Boolean, true or false. If the user confirms it, it's true and otherwise it's going to be false. So then what we can do is we can just check whether this is true. And if it is, if the user has explicitly confirmed, then we can execute the dangerous action. So now you'll see if I click delete, and then if I say I actually don't want to delete it, so I click cancel, see how nothing happens. But now let's try again, and I say we actually do want to delete this time, I'll click OK, and you see it's deleted the item. So yeah, that was pretty simple. That's how you use the confirm uh, keyword in JavaScript. I think it might be called confirm box or just confirm method, but it's basically a window method which lets you confirm whether you want to execute a risky action. So yeah, remember that this is a boolean and use your if statements to confirm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!